It's like, can I put the winter coat away yet? Next week, no, we uh, not yet, Maybe. but we're getting close. And there were a couple of reasons why today was so cold, which I'll explain in just a minute. 49 degrees right now out at Astoria. It's gray, it's rainy, it's a little bit breezy. There's been some heavier rainfall moving through Clark County and then down through parts of Multnomah and Clackamas counties as well. As we zoom out and widen the view, you can see there's plenty of rain still offshore. So it's going to be a while before we're out of this batch. In fact, it'll be the early morning hours before the rain really ends or at least lightens up 37 hundredths of an inch now at the Portland Airport today. We've been picking up about four tenths of an inch or so every day this week. 44 hundredths now up in Scappoose down in Salem, 28 hundredths of an inch, which is almost as much as what Astoria clocked in with the 29 hundredths of an inch there again. 47. You know what that's average for? That's average for early January, like the 7th or 8th of January. That's our average high temperature, not the coldest April day we've ever had, but in the top 10. The coldest is actually recorded on this date back in 1963 when we topped out at 42. Only Pendleton getting close to 55 with the 54 there. Medford at 53. Pretty much everybody else in the 40s or around 50. And one of the reasons why we were so cold today is because we got off to a really cold start. We had cold air mass in place yesterday. It cleared out last night. So Hillsborough dropped below freezing. Portland dropped to 38. Aurora 35 and Scappoos 33. So we got off to a cold start with the clear sky last night. Then this morning the clouds came in and the rain came in. So the temperatures really never had a chance to warm up very much with the lack of any sunshine and starting at such a very, very low point. 37 the low, 47 the high, the average 63. So yeah, we were a full 16 degrees below the average high for this state. The rainfall though, doing great. 4.4 inches for the month. That's a top 10 wet April that we have there, and we've nearly made up all of our deficit since January 1. We are above average with our rainfall since the storm season began back on the 1st of October. So this system, there's a warm front here. There's area of low pressure there. This will push through and it won't be nearly as cold overnight tonight as it was last night. So we got that going for us and that warmer starting point to the day tomorrow and far less rainfall. In fact, very little rainfall tomorrow means we'll warm into the 50s at least still below average, but at least we'll be up around 55 or so. I think we'll be dry on Saturday. That should allow us to climb to about 60, 62 showers for sure on Sunday with the system dropping down from the north. But after that moves on, that's when we really begin to warm things up and dry things out and get into sunshine and into the 70s. And I still think we have a shot at 80 degrees for the first time uh, this year late next week. So warmer, still some rain that Sunday. Then Monday, Monday night, Tuesday, the warming trend ramps up. If this pattern verifies and it's been pretty consistent in our modeling now for several days, we may very well hit 80 towards Friday or so of next week. We'll cool off as the system from the south moves our way. That's also a good thunderstorm pattern for us too and fairly typical for this time of the year. So we'll be watching that quite closely. In the meantime, it's rainy and it's cold. 46 degrees freezing level is 3300 feet, but it is on the way up. Rain tonight, mostly cloudy tomorrow with a high of about 56. The seven day forecast, there are 62 on Saturday and notice only one of those seven days has raindrops on them. That would be Sunday. We're going to go 72 on Wednesday and 70 five on Thursday and we got a shot at 80s after that.